Why is the PLA Navy unimpressed with vertical takeoff and landing fighters when the US F 35B fighters frequently appear in the British aircraft carriers, Japanese aircraft carriers, when the Italian, Triest amphibious assault ship carrying stealth fighters across the four seas. The Chinese Navy has always been on hold. What kind of strategic considerations are hidden behind this? From the World War II propeller fighters to today's fifth-generation stealth carrier aircraft, the carrier aircraft takeoff method has always touched the nerves of all navies. Vertical takeoff and landing technology seems to solve the no-catapult aircraft carrier imperative, but the hidden mystery, when the F-35B to the maximum takeoff weight of vertical liftoff, its load capacity and range has shrunk to a staggering 2.1 tons. The value of hundreds of millions of dollars of stealth fighters are instantly reduced to the short-legged vase. The core contradiction of vertical takeoff and landing fighters lies in the inherent inadequacy of the power system. F-35B, for example, its F-135P W600 engine through the lift fan and the main engine linkage to achieve vertical takeoff and landing but the transmission system leads to a 12% drop in thrust to weight ratio, fuel consumption rate increased by 20%. More fatal is that the vertical takeoff and landing of high temperature gas on the deck of the erosion problem has not been solved. The United States WASP class amphibious assault ship after each takeoff and landing are required to carry out up to two hours of deck cooling maintenance. This technical defect is exposed in actual combat in 2018 on the battlefield in Syria, the F-35B of the British aircraft carrier. Queen Elizabeth had to mount a secondary fuel tank to carry out the mission, and the stealth advantage has disappeared. China's military industry is not blind to vertical takeoff and landing technology. Changfei 2023 exposure of the dual-engine tandem vertical takeoff and landing aircraft patent shows that it uses the front-engine dual nozzle vector steering and rear main engine linkage innovative design. Compared to the F-35B lifting fan program, not only saves 30% of the space inside the aircraft, but also through the three vector nozzles to achieve a more optimal aerodynamic control. But this technology path still need to break through two major difficulties. One is the stability of the dual synchronization control system. The Soviet Union Yak-141 has been due to the lift engine, and the main engine coordination loss of control led to many crashes. The second is the high temperature gas flow technology. The United States and the F-35B on the use of hot and cold airflow, mixing program to alleviate the deck erosion, but so that the complexity of the engine structure increased by 40%. China's aircraft carrier development path shows a clear, systematic thinking. The Liaoning and Shandong ships have a 195-meter long takeoff point design that allows the J-15 to maintain a maximum takeoff weight of 33 tons during skidding takeoff and a combat radius of 700 kilometers with four anti-ship missiles and two combat bombs. The J-35 stealth carrier aircraft being tested will take this advantage to a new level. Its in-flight fuel capacity is 15% more than that of the F-35C and with the WS-19 engine. The combat radius can reach 1,200 kilometers in skidding takeoff, which can completely cover the key areas of the first island chain. The electromagnetic catapult equipped on the Fujian ship has revolutionized the game. The maximum takeoff weight of the J-15T catapult type has soared to 36 tons, and the mounting capacity has been increased by 40%, which is a performance leap that is hard for any vertical takeoff and landing fighters to reach. More critically, the electromagnetic catapult system allows the 075-type amphibious assault ship to carry fixed-wing early warning aircraft, forming a complete shipborne aviation combat system. While the F-35B has never been able to solve the problem of the lack of early warning aircraft due to range limitations, this technology generation gap in the 2024 China-Thailand joint military exercises revealed, equipped with airborne police, 600 Shandong carrier battle group, its situational awareness range is Japan's, Izumo, class quasi carriers three times. The United States and China have very different philosophies on naval aircraft development. The F 35B is essentially a product of technological compromise and was originally designed to be an independent aviation force for the Marine Corps, resulting in an 18% weight increase in the fuselage structure, and the bomb base space is squeezed by 30% by the lifting fan. On the other hand, the J 35 focuses on air superiority combat and its belly nhl adopts the two near and four medium mounting scheme which can carry six pl15e over the horizon missiles 
and this specialized design makes its air combat effectiveness 27% higher than that of the F-35B. The choice of powertrain emphasizes the strategic difference. The U.S. developed the F-135PW600 engine for the F-35B alone, investing more than 8 billion U.S. dollars while China chose to develop the WS-19 iteratively, on the basis of the WS-10, which not only ensures the power versatility of the J-20 and J-35, but also avoids falling into the technological traps of the vertical takeoff and landing special engine. This path choice in the 2024 Zhuhai Air Show has been verified. J-35 prototype equipped with WS-19 completed five consecutive days of high-intensity takeoff and landing. The failure rate is only one-third of F-35B. China's Navy is building a new combat system of manned-unmanned coordination. 075-type amphibious assault ships can carry attack 11 stealth drones, whose 1,800-kilometer radius and 6-ton payload completely cover the tactical gaps of vertical takeoff and landing fighters. This combination in the 2025 South China Sea exercises to show amazing effectiveness, drone swarm forward reconnaissance positioning. J-35 launch ultra-long-range missiles to carry out strikes, operational efficiency is 4.2 times the F-35B alone. The U.S. exploration of the Sprint program confirms this trend. DARPA invested $37 million in the development of hydrogen-powered vertical, takeoff and landing drones. Its modular design can be quickly switched between reconnaissance, electronic warfare, logistics and other tasks. But China as early as 2023 test flown, Dark Sword, vertical takeoff and landing drones, the use of plasma stealth technology, and artificial intelligence aerial combat systems in the simulation of confrontation has been 12-0 victory over manned combat, 12-0 over manned fighters in a simulated confrontation. The rise and fall of vertical takeoff and landing fighters reflects the change in maritime power. The British invention of the Harrier is to maintain the colonial era, global presence of the remnants of the dream. Japan's development of the Izumo, class quasi-aircraft carriers mapping the island's strategic anxiety, while China chose to develop electromagnetic catapult aircraft carriers, demonstrating the ease of confidence towards the deep blue. This confidence stems from the support of industrial strength, China's marine special steel yield strength of 1,100 megapascals, 1 1.5 times that of similar products in Japan, to ensure that the Fujian ship can carry heavier, catapult-type carrier aircraft. Historical experience is worth pondering. The Soviet Union tried to use the Yak-141 to build a carrier killer, but ultimately proved that eight aircraft-carrying cruisers are not as powerful as one real carrier. The Chinese Navy has skipped the technical trap of vertical takeoff and landing fighters and has gone straight to electromagnetic catapults and high-powered weapons, a leap forward that could reshape the balance of power. In the Western Pacific by 2030, the average daily sorties of a Fujian ship are equivalent to those of two Izumo-class ships, and the radius of operation is three times that of the latter. The Chinese Navy's choice is not a conservative one, but is based on brutal techno-economic calculations. Vertical takeoff and landing, atoll, fighters are 2.3 times more expensive to develop than conventional carrier-based aircraft, and 47% more expensive to maintain over their life cycle but are only 70% as effective in combat. While the U.S. pays an additional $320 million per ship to retrofit the F-35B's deck cooling system, China is investing its resources in more critical areas. The second Fujian ship has entered the modular construction phase, and its electromagnetic catapult has an energy utilization rate of 90%, far exceeding the U.S. Ford class 60%. Behind this strategic strength is a deep insight into the shape of air and sea combat. The future fight for sea power is no longer a single platform competition, but systematic, intelligent, integrated confrontation. When the F 35B is still struggling for 300 km combat radius, the combination of J 35 and Air Marshal 600 has been able to control the three dimensional battlefield with a radius of 2,000 km, which may be the ultimate answer to the modern sea battle.